Welcome to Paradox Profiled, a spin-off of Total War Profiled, where we look into these great strategy games and analyse how historically accurate they are. This series is not to mock them for their mistakes, but rather to just see what inspired the developers with their decisions and why the games are how they are. Before you post a comment, this is my first episode of Paradox Profiled. So be nice. <laughs> Today we are looking into the Surrender of Main event, which happens very early in the game and is often the first major event to take place in EU4. It involves France and England. The event fires very early in the campaign, at a random date before 1450, and is part of the Hundred Years' War. The Hundred Years' War was a series of conflicts from 1337 to 1453, between the English and the French. By the start date of 1444, Charles VII is King of France and Henry VI is King of England, which is shown accurately in-game. After years of fighting, they came to a temporary truce on the 28th of May, 1444, called the Treaty of Tours. The war changed its course in the last few years, and the English had been pushed back. The terms of the treaty were as follows. Two years of truce. Charles VII's niece, Margaret of Anjou, married Henry VI. This was done so that eventually one of Henry's sons would be linked to the Anjou family, who were very influential in French politics. So basically, get an Englishman on the inside. In return, the main area of northern France would be returned to the French. But the returning of Maine did not happen immediately. Charles sent envoys to try and pressure Henry into forcing the region over. Still nothing. In 1448, four years after the treaty, Charles sent an army to Maine, which is described in the event, to increase the pressure pushing Henry to the point where he decided to accept. The English were not happy with this. They saw this treaty as being a disappointment to the war that they fought so long for. And when I say disappointment, what I mean is it went as far as some historians have argued this to be an important factor in why the War of the Roses began, among other reasons. Relations collapsed and war was kick-started again in 1449 due to a conflict between England and Britain, a former ally of England. Okay, so looking at it from a gameplay perspective, what actually happens? Well, the Surrender of Maine pops up for England. Historically, they would have gone with, we must honour our obligations even if it pains us. Hitting the English with minus 10 prestige and minus 1 stability and a truce with France. Then France gets the pop-up telling the player what happened and they reply with, great, gaining main and 10 prestige. Then England would come into conflict with their ally Brittany and France uses that to restart the conflict in 1449. But the video does not end here as there's a few small interesting details. Firstly, in the English side of the event, there is a man mentioned named William de la Pole, who was historically accurate as the negotiator of the Treaty of Tours. Second, there is an inaccuracy. France and England should start off in the game with a truce of two to four years, but they don't. Thirdly, if the English refuse to surrender and the French decide to attack, England does go to war with France with a restoration of Union, Casus Belli. If they then manage to capture Paris, they can form a personal union with France through the Mission Tree. Which is a reference to the fact that Henry had a marriage with Margaret of Anjou, the King's niece, so a closer tie to the throne, and also a reference to the long history of French and English kings and their relations to one another. Fourthly and finally, if the English decide to stand their ground and it's French who also back down, then France takes a minus 70 relationship hit against Provence. For some odd reason which I could not figure out why. 
Maybe there is some tie there between Provence and Maine, but I couldn't find anything. Please let me know if you know what links Maine, Provence and France all together. Like, why would Provence be unhappy about this of all the nations? And that is everything. I really hope you enjoyed this series. As I said, it's a spin-off of my series Total War Profiled, and I find this stuff kind of interesting. My area of history is Napoleonic, so please uh, do nicely correct me if I make any mistakes, or by all means, please feel free to also add onto what I said as well. To keep the video short, stuff often does get cut out of a video, uh, but if you want to add something else in the comment section, please do, or if there's something I missed and stuff like that. Please subscribe for more Pandadox Profiled every Tuesday and share with a friend or in a Discord if you know anyone who would be interested. Thank you and goodbye.